All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. We are at Lost Island. Island. So we are at Lost Island in Waterloo, Iowa. This was kind of a last minute thing. That's why the kids don't really know what it is. It was a big surprise to the whole family. We're pretty excited. They have a few coasters. It's a brand new park, actually. It opened up in 2022. It's kind of out here in the middle of nowhere. As you can see, there's not that many people here, but it's still pretty cool. So this is pretty cool. They actually have like live shows and people here we're gonna try to walk up to him all right you think go go riz up these females go to the mirror realm we will teach you the strongest challenge to become true mirror warrior this warrior knows what fun is push-ups Push-ups are fun, yes? yes. We do push-ups over in the Muda Realm. Push-up contest. Huh? You know karate, huh? Oh, you know you karate. You know karate. <laughs> oh, you're the karate teacher. I would like to see this move where you chop a boulder in half. All right, so that was pretty cool. They have uh, characters walking around. We definitely love it. Uh, I'm most excited about riding that right there. I think it's called Montagami. That's a pretty good one. However, I did aggravate my back. So I don't know how much I'm going to be riding today. I'm gonna to hit that regardless if my back's aggravated or not, but I can't make it go out any worse. So that's probably about the only thing. We're hoping that he can ride all of them now. Yeah, I, I doubt it today, unfortunately, but I do I want to ride that Montagami because that's really why I came here. We're going to start walking around and exploring. This is, uh, this is a beautiful park. It's very beautiful. So if you yeah. haven't been out here because it's like in the middle of nowhere, yes. it's worth it because just the scenery and all the actors, it's really cute, especially for the little kids. Watch the movie, I think it's Elements, right? It kind of reminds me of the movie, like, because, like, there's different characters. There's fire, earth, water, and air, and they don't mix together. They're all, like, separated. Yeah. And that's what it kind of reminds me of, and I think that's what the, this is about. How was it? I was good. We don't even know the name of the ride, but it hurt my back and my chest. It hurt your back and chest? It was a chiropractor. <laughs> it was a chiropractor? Oh, so it hurt your back? Like your bones. But it was fun. It was different. Yeah, yeah there's a couple of flat I they, rides. I think they should put this at yeah, King's Island because yeah. this has more thrill to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? This ride is different and it's fun. So yeah, you're going to have to try it later. Okay, that ride was called Shaman's Curse. It looked like a lot of fun for him. Didn't want to aggravate my back. However, I will aggravate it for that thing right there. Montagume, I think is what it's called. It is a, I think it's an Intamin Blitz. It's kind of like Maverick at Cedar Point. So it is a hydraulic launch coaster. It looks awesome, looks so fun. It's not very tall, not very fast. It just looks whippy. I'm actually hoping it pops my back back into place. So it ain't gonna get any worse at this point, so. Yeah, that thing can crack me back for sure. Well, let's hope it does, because I'm, I'm ready to walk a little bit straighter. Ah, getting old sucks. But this is a cool park. I like it. Definitely unique. Not busy at all. Good weather. So, uh, yeah, we're going to get on, I think it's Mon Montagume? Montagume? I don't know.
Oh, that was great. So, Matugami, that it, launch. It called me so much. It did tickle. We went so fast in my stomach. I, my face was like this. Like, it tickled, it tickled so a fast. lot. We got a lot of tickles on that one. The launch on this thing is incredible, but it is a hydraulic launch. It's got some serious punch to it. And I mean, you just get like a, oh, it was fun. They only run one train, but it's fine because there's only like four people in line. So yeah, I think the, to go again the, the kids are wanting to go again. I think it's been Maverick for sure. Well, I launched so good. It has the same restraints as Maverick. Yes. That was fun. This ride's really short though. It's only like three seconds. It's like really short. Okay, so I'm gonna get some shots of the girls. They wanted to go back around, ride it again. Me and Ethan are taking a break. It's a lot. It's a very intense little coaster. I'd say it's more intense than Maverick. What do you think, buddy? You think it's more intense than Maverick? Yes. They're in the back. Okay, so what did you girls think of the back so, row? The back. They didn't have a countdown, so we went so fast and we didn't even realize it tickled so much. I was like, <laughs> did you see my face? I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So when we hit that wand, there was a bug and it went right in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, and and that was fun. I think the front is a lot better than the back. The train pushes you through yeah. the elements rather yeah. than pulls you. So, but it was fun. Okay, so Matugani, great ride, very fun. Definitely underrated. That is a fantastic little roller coaster. All right, so they're gonna ride this top spin ride behind me, Rockava. The kids will actually get to see what it's like just to hang upside down and stuff. I'll get some good footage of it. It's a great little park so far. Absolutely adore this place. Thumbs up or thumbs down? It was crazy. It spins you around just right now. It was really fun. I and it goes five loops at a time. It was one, two, it go. Your and face was it. so funny. You were like, Grr. I don't like that ride. <laughs> but that was like the old Tomb Raider. It was. So but that was what Tomb Raider used to be. That was fun. I liked it. Okay, so Bob, this is cool. So I wonder, hold on, hold on. You work together, you are wise, more hands reveal a character surprise. Put all three of your hands on there together, it raises the water. That is cool. So it's like an interactive water exhibit type thing. Strength and courage are forged in fire. Place both hands into the stone, awaken the volcanic powers unknown. That is pretty cool. So it's like a volcano type thing. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, we're going to go into Volcano, the quest for the Golden Idol? It's a family ride. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. Right with us. Let's go. Oh, this is cool. This is some next level theming. Our quest 
So it appears to be like a shoot 'em up dark ride. That's cool. This is very well themed. We have to see a fire monster. This is some pretty cool theming. Look at the animatronics. It does. There is no time to lose. You must help save our island. So that ride was absolutely awesome. Probably one of the best dark rides that I've ever been on. It was super well themed. The only problem is we couldn't take glasses in there because it was 3D glasses and you had to wear their glasses. So, and I don't want to spoil anything. It's a 3D dark ride, kind of like Boo Blasters at Kings Island, but like way better, which is crazy because this park is in the middle of nowhere and they have some fantastic themed rides here. It is awesome. Just don't be like the Case family and not have the 3D glasses. <laughs> They didn't give us it. So we thought it was our eyes. I think that Ben and Blueback took for sure. Yeah, this ride is actually like really fun. It's better than Blueback section, man, I can agree on that. You like, when you're shooting something, you go back and it's weird. It's very accurate too. So like if you're shooting something, you're aiming and it, it works perfect and you get your score, but it, it's a neat ride. Yeah, they also take your picture and then show you who won, which was dad. So we did the earth section, we did the fire section, the water section's over there, which I do want to get on the carousel, and then we'll go over to the purple as well. Okay, so we just did some shopping, got our standard magnet and our Hold on, I have sticker. to show you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to show them. So Annabelle's been wanting one forever, okay? It's not, this is not a Stanley. She's it's saying a it's a Stanley. That's not a Stanley. Isn't it cute? That's not a Stanley. It's not a Stanley, that's a Stan. Yeah. It's an Elite. I think we're going to go over to this uh, flying thing that I've been wanting to do. This flying ride over here. Oh, yeah. is that the one where you have to sit by yourself? Yeah, and you, and you can determine whether you go upside down or not. She's already flipping. It looks like the babies wanted to ride it again. That was fun. You were the biggest kid on Absolutely. it. Absolutely. <laughs> it was cute. Well, I was having, I've always wanted to ride one of those. So cool uh, that you can actually control what you do. There's some time well, that I was like upside down 80 feet in the air and I was like stuck. I'm kind of freaking out like, oh, <laughs> like it was cute because, and also like you were like showing people how to like move the wings. I was just going back and forth, <laughs> like... back and forth. I was, I was the big bird in that one. I had all my baby birds behind me. Like... <laughs> it was funny. You're so cute. I love you. I was trying to get it from that also. I know, it's, it's technique. I just watched so many people on YouTube do it. That's the only way I knew how. Oh, really? Yeah, you really got to get it swinging back and forth and back and forth. It's very hard. It takes a lot of strength.
All right, that's a big risk I'm taking, but I'm gonna try to get on a Vacoma SLC with a pinch nerve in my pack. So I could be actually limping back to the truck after this one, but gotta get the credit. I'm gonna just try to brace my back. I should be fine, in all honesty. I've rode some crazy coasters. It's not my favorite kind of coaster, honestly, but it's here. It's called Napuco Air Coaster. by yourself and then dad and Bob they wrote it in the front you wrote it in the back that the restraints on it are super comfortable actually it's the the newer Vacoma trains I guess or newer Vacoma restraints way better than the old ones uh, there was one little pothole in one of the dive loops or something like that you felt it was like Zzz. but uh, I don't know it wasn't bad really me and Ethan got front you didn't like it bud no it hurt my leg too much yeah, yeah. well there was like a pot after like the lift I feel like yeah you know what I loved it I love the view. <laughs> yeah. But it's kind of sad about this park because they invested a lot of money into it. And that ride hasn't even ran that we just rode since we got off. There's nobody here. So if you can, try to get out here and support this park. We put it on our list. This park is very, very beautiful. Got to try it out. If you're out this way, it's worth the try. Uh, I guess, Annabella, are you wanting to ride the drop tower by yeah, yourself? I'm going to ride the drop tower by myself. Really nervous though, but it's, it's okay. All right, we got to find a good area to record on because both girls decided to get on uh, drop tower yep. or drop whatever it is. It's a drop tower. I'm about done riding because we've almost cleared the park already. I mean, we got some Ferris wheels and stuff, but all the bigger rides are pretty much completed. Abby hates drop towers and uh, Annabella does too. So it's like, they're going to be freaking out up there. It's going to be hilarious. Yeah, Ethan won't even ride them, which I don't blame him. Well, he's rode some before. He's just not a big fan of them. Not a fan of drop towers? I liked it, but it was just like scary. It was taking forever to drop, and I was like, drop already. And then when I said drop already, it already dropped. I was like, oh my God. I'm shaking. You're shaking? I'm shaking. I don't like drop towers. So I think with this one, so when you're up, you're up, and you're sitting there, and you hear all the... Yeah, the air. The air build up, and then you're just sitting there, and then finally, Annabella's like, okay, just drop already. And I'm like... We hear a click and we're like, oh crap, it's getting ready to drop and that's when it dropped us. Have you ever seen any good ones? <laughs> yes. Yeah, we ran all of them. Did you go on Skyborne? Mm -hmm. You know what's so sad? We never managed to stay up there. We always come back down. <laughs> but one day we'll stay, yes? <laughs> Brilliant, wonderful. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, travelers. All yes. right, now we're going to go eat somewhere. I think we're going to go to the Whalebone Grill. 
I have no idea what they have, but it's over here. It's starting to get a little hot out. It was chilly this morning, but that's what you get in Iowa. The whale bone grill. Let's see what they got in here. So it seems like the best value for the money is pulled pork mac and cheese. It's on them. It's only like $6. Yeah, it's really good. The mac and cheese is great. All right, so the food was good. Very delicious, reasonably priced as well. Now we're gonna get on like a pirate ship ride the kids wanna do. It looks like you can shoot spray people, everybody. like spray them with water back and forth. The cannons and stuff. So it'll be a fun little water ride to ride. It is starting to get warm. Then we're gonna do Ferris wheel. Yeah, hopefully you're enjoying the video so far. Oh, you're lucky. You're just out of range of my cannons. Dang, babe, you're really good. Yeah. Get her. Have a battle over here. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Got you. Hello. I, I can't do it too bad at this level. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dang, baby, you hit one over there. Right, we just got off the pirate ride really fun mom is a weapon she just started attacking random civilians with no rules of engagement she's just like person i was like get us that so, was fun they were laughing yeah it is starting to get warm face, it was fun i didn't get wet at all i didn't I either got you guys. i'm dry no i'm dry overall it was a real fun ride i think we're going to do the ferris wheel <laughs> we're going to ride a few more rides and probably call quits, but overall it's been a very successful day. It has, it's very beautiful. This park is amazing. If you guys haven't been out this way, come to this park, support them. Cut off the Ferris wheel. Very awesome views of the place. We're gonna go right behind us to Montagumi again and get one more ride. I always call that ride Montagumi instead of, I, I always call it Gooey. It was like a burger. You could do Gooey Green Coaster. But uh, this is, I'm not gonna be filming or anything. I'm just gonna go enjoy it. This is probably gonna be one of the last rides. Then they wanna do the spin one again and then we're gonna be bouncing. But overall, it's been a very successful day. What do you think about the back? Um, it was good. Like I better. Like the better so do I. Because you get when you go over the top of those hills, you get launched up in the air like crazy every time. But either way, this coaster right here makes it worth coming to the park. Okay, we are about to roll out of here. The kids wanted to get a last ride on this topsy turvy little thing that I forget the name of. I'm gonna call it a top spin. After that, we're gonna be headed on out. But overall, I think it's been a successful day. There they go. They're crazy. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> 
Alright, kids just got off a flipper flopper there. Don't know the name of it because they got crazy names here. They've already told you what they thought about it. Well, that's about going to round up our day. So we had to end it with Dippin' Dots. Delicious Dippin' Dots. Family fun day at the park. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. yeah. This place is amazing. I recommend coming here. Absolutely. You want to go to a place that's no lines and good rides? Come to Lost Island. All right, well, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Comment down below what you thought your favorite ride would be. We will see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.